and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm going to be riding the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser right there. And I want to talk about something right here. The cargo rack on the back of this bike where you can ride a passenger if you buy the, the seat for uh, this cargo rack. And that passenger can be up to 150 pounds. So let's go for a ride and talk about uh, passenger uh, actual laws nobody talks too much about that so uh, I'm gonna talk about that today so every state is different on their uh, e-bike passenger laws so you might, might want to check your laws in your area for e-bike riding with passengers and i was checking it today for here in oregon because they have the new e-bike law about to be signed uh into law it's been passed by the house and the senate uh and i couldn't believe what i was reading uh, because i've never really looked into the passenger laws with regard to e-bikes lots of debris here in the bike lane but Basically, I don't know if they've updated this part of the law or not. Um, this looks like the old law, and I don't know, like I say, if they've updated it. Or if it's status quo as far as passenger goes. But here's what it says. It says, i get away from this crap in the bike lane. It says Oregon laws prohibit prohibit carrying a passenger under the age of 16. Well, I've seen countless number of people riding small children on the back of their bikes, electric bikes. And so if that's illegal, it almost seems to me like that, that can't be right. But that's what it says. However, if you have a class three bike, which this one is, you can ride a passenger. And, and the, what got me looking at this law is because if e-bikes e are banned for children or anyone under the age of 16, unless you have a driver's license or permit, then that got me thinking, well, what about if they were just a passenger on the bike? And that's where I read this, uh, these laws here that look like they're old laws to me, but I'm not so sure I seen anywhere where they were updated. But it says people under 16 can ride as passengers on a class three e-bike, which requires all riders to wear helmets. That should be a no brainer. Um, I think that should be, everyone should be wearing a helmet. Uh, like, I don't think that's even debatable. So, kind of weird to me though that a class 3 can ride somebody, a passenger, but not the class 2 bike or the class 1. It's kind of another silly law that's like the uh, that's like the class three to me where you can only pedal to 28, but the bike can go up to 28, but only by pedal assist. And you can't just throttle up to 28. So this one is, is another goofy law to me where class three bikes can ride a passenger under the age of 16, but they all riders must be wearing a helmet. But I think if you can ride a passenger on the bike, then it shouldn't really matter what class your bike is. Um, and then another thing would be what about multiple riders? 
uh, multiple passengers, I should say. Like, for example, I've seen folks riding their bike, cargo bike, with two seats for two children on the back, and they've had two on there, and then the rider themselves is three altogether. And uh, is there a law against that, or is that fine? I haven't seen anything on that. So like I say, what got me into the, looking at all this is the 16 or under 16 riders that can't ride an e-bike and I thought, well, what about if they were just a passenger? So I'll read that one more time, the, the first part of it where it says, Oregon law prohibits carrying anyone under the age of 16 as a passenger on a power assisted bicycle. Okay, so we're talking anyone that's uh, under 16 for that law. And we'll close the road and I'm not gonna go through the road close signs on a turn around. But. So let me know what you think in the comments of that. Now this, that's just for the state of Oregon. And you might wanna check in your uh, state. I'm good. They just informed me there, the road workers, that if I want to ride through, I can, but I said, I'm good. It's not a big deal. I'm just roaming around here, talking about riding with a passenger on your e-bike. So I guess if they're over the age of 16, you can ride anyone on any class. They're just talking more, it sounds like, under 16. Or so... Anyway, I thought it was an interesting topic because I haven't heard anyone discuss this one. And with all the bike laws that are being presented right now, that's an interesting one to, to check out. But I'm just waiting on the finalizing and the final signature on this new law for Oregon here for the e-bikes. And then I'm gonna read it over in its uh, entirety just to see what what all is in there uh, maybe there'll be something in the new one by now by that time i don't know but uh, we'll check it out but like i say you better check where you are in your state because it looks like every state is different i wish there was some kind of universal Wow, like the whole country had something the same. It would make it so much easier for everybody. It would make it easy for um, all of us riders, the public out there that um, don't know what's going on. You know, if you live here, you, you might move from state to state and then you have to check your laws because they're going to be different. If we just make it the same across the board, as I hit my camera with my hand, make it across the board uh, for everybody in the country the same law, it would be so easy and also for the the bike companies because they wouldn't have to worry about um, you know uh, which state is allowed to ride which bike and worried about making uh, whichever uh, I say just make make the bike uh, the same like I say make them all class three and then you can turn it down to class two or class one. You can just not use your throttle if you want class one. And if you want just class two speed and all that, you just, just make it go to 20 miles per hour and that's it. But that would make it so much easier. So if you want to leave a comment in the comments below, let me know what you think of this. Uh, passenger riding and what what are the laws in your area uh, or, or have you even looked into it or do you even care because maybe you've never ridden a passenger I've had a passenger a couple of times but uh, I prefer to ride 
with no passenger but sometimes you know you might have a need to, to ride with uh, somebody on your bike for whatever reason so it's nice to know legally what you can or cannot do I guess so that's going to do it for this video hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you for supporting us so just hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and also uh, if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time keep your wheels on the road